In this lecture, we are going to discuss validation and cross-validation techniques in particular to see how a data set can be separated into the training and test cases and then a systematic approach can be used to evaluate the performance of a model. It's very important because the model may do well for certain instances. However, with the help of cross-validation, we can evaluate the model in a reliable way. So there are three possibilities that can be used. They are called, they are called careful cross-validation, the leave one out cross-validation and the holdout cross-validation. In case of k fold cross validation the value of k has to be decided in case the value of k is 10 so the data set is being divided into 10 parts where the model is trained on 9 parts and tested on the 10th part the process is being repeated 10 times where each set of instances then the accuracy across all the 10 experiments is being averaged to give the accuracy of the model so in case in case the value of k is 5 so the training data is being separated into 5 instances the model is trained on 4 and tested on 1 and each time we test it on a different subset and average all the accuracies. So this is how k-fold cross-validation works. Leave one out is a special case of k-fold cross-validation where we test the model on n minus one instances and use just one instance to test the model and then we repeat the process for an average the accuracy across all the experiments that are being performed. Like if there are n instances, the model is trained from two to n and is tested on one. In the next experiment, the model is tested on second and then tested on the third instance while trained on all the other instances and then we average the accuracy across all these experiments so this is how leave one out works in case of hold the holdout validation approach is being used if the model takes too long for training so therefore repeating the process over and over again is going to take very long so in this case based on some measure the data is being separated into three parts there are the training part the validation part and the testing part the model is trained on the training part the validation helps to tune the parameters while it is being tested on the test.